A couple of years ago, I built this, my crown jewel, a 9900K, a 2080 Ti, 64 gigs of vengeance memory, two Samsung 970 Pros, NVMEs, Inrate Zero, a completely overpowered power supply, a custom AlphaCool hardline water cooling system, and to top it all off, I built it in this beautiful Thermaltake P5. But it's so impractical. Ignoring the fact that open case PCs are basically, are basically just really big dust collectors, I made a pretty big mistake with this rig. You see, back then when I was building it, I had a budget and I really wanted to go with the 9900K and the 2080 Ti, so I had to save money somewhere. And being younger and a bit dumber, I thought it was a good idea to save 30 bucks on a drain port. So now I'm sitting here needing to take this apart and I am not really sure how. So essentially the message of this video will be to not save those 30 euros on a drain port. Now in those two to three years where I was using the system, everything was all right, everything was perfectly fine. It did cool really, really good. The issue is now, I need to take it apart. I need the parts for other productions. And I just know that this will be a mess. So I, it would have been so much easier if I just bought that damn drain wall. Now in those two to three years, I did never change the liquid in here. And it wasn't such a big issue, but I can see inside of the GPU block that there is some really nasty stuff going on. And I'm certain, and we will, we will have a look at it, that inside of the CPU block, it, it will be even worse. So the idea for today is to just somehow take this... So the idea for today is to just take it apart and learn to never make that mistake again and just have a look at how nasty the blocks will get if you do not change that liquid in a couple of years. Now because I am basically unable to move anything in here, the only thing that I will remove is the power supply because if anything gets wrong, and I'm pretty sure it will, that's the only thing that I do not want to have covered in that liquid. And even though this will become a mess, I am certain that having built this inside of a really small case, or any case, it would have been much worse. Okay, so the idea to empty this is to basically open this one up here, which should drain the whole reservoir and this tube and this one, giving me the possibility to unmount this and then blow through the whole system and try to get as much out as possible. And just in case that this small little container is not enough, I have something else. But no matter how I look at it, I am certain that this will become one really big mess. So for anybody who is working on something like this, please get a drain port, please. I really do not want to do this. Oh, this already sounds bad. Yeah. I will need to open one up in the top to give it some air to breathe. Maybe tilt it? Oh, that's a mess. Well, that did not work as planned. Okay, alternative plan. Oh, let's do this. This is so nasty. Just get a drain port.
Oh yeah, and if you don't know that Alpha Cool blue whatever it it stays. It's a good liquid, but it it makes everything dirty and and sticks to even skin. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so back to my initial plan to just blow through the whole system and hopefully get as mu much out as possible. <laughs> it works. Okay, so this worked a bit better than I've expected. We had a couple of issues on the way, but it's almost empty now. Let's now have a look at every component and see how nasty it got in those two years without changing any liquid. You can really see that the blue color from Alpha Cool's liquid is just colored the whole tube and it left this like nasty residue on the on the tips of basically each and every one of the tubes and even here the discoloration is just the tube is basically blue now and that's not even liquid in it it's just the top part is it's just blue but let's have a look at the water block which is basically one giant mess look at this oh that's disgusting and if we take the gpu block you may even see that on the acrylic it left stains of every cooling part that is underneath it and if we take the metal part it's the same nasty shit as on the cpu block it's just nasty it's all blue Cleaning this will take forever. I will do it. I have to. I need the pores, but oh, that's one nasty shit. Oh, that's nasty. So yeah, everything is dirty as hell, just as I thought. It could have been worse. It could have, but it's still this is just nasty. And I am sh still very unsure if I will get the blue discoloration of the acrylic the metal probably i have enough isopropyl alcohol that should work but on the plastic i am not so sure about that but i will see i will try to clean it maybe with something stronger i don't know but this will take very very long if you build something like this always keep in mind that things like these the fins they are so focused they are extremely extremely small and I was basically clogging everything up with the build up nasty shit that in, also in these tubes. I mean, look at this. Look at this. How nasty this is. How full of. Uh, I don't even know what this is, but it's nasty. And if you're building something like this and you do not change the liquid once in a year, once a year and a half, you are basically clogging up everything, reducing the coolant capacity, reducing everything, and you will just end up overheating everything. And I didn't have the issue. I had a completely exaggerated 420 radiator. That's enormous. So I was, I was fine. But if you have like a smaller one and you're clogging up everything like I did here, at some point, the CPU or the GPU or everything would just overheat. And I did the mistake, I knew that it wasn't forever, I knew I was using the system for a couple of years and then I would just take everything apart and the moment is now, but if you would build something for a, a longer period, like five years, definitely get a drain port, change the liquid once in a year, once, once every one and a half years, but just don't clock your system. Okay, so lesson learned, I hope you've enjoyed watching me do nasty stuff whatever that means so yeah i've learned i will buy probably a drain port from alpha cool now just for the next build hopefully i will do more of these hardline tubings i really do enjoy them but they are really hard to do 
So props to everybody who does it on a regular basis. Okay, so for me it will now be a couple of hours of cleaning, but I hope you've enjoyed me watching clean up my own mess. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.